everyone, today I have two System Sensor SPR speaker strobes. So, I've got these as a pair. So, that's what I did with other alarms, testing them as a pair. So, yeah. So, that's how I'm going to make the video of. To the left, it's the System Sensor P2R horn strobe. It's the typical System Sensor Spectre Advance family of alarms horn strobe. Yeah, that we that we see every time, almost like a million times. So, what's this considered? Here's the alarm itself, the horn strobe. Here's the mounting plate. You mount this onto the back box, and then you wire everything up, and then. You snap the alarm on and screw in the hole. And now this is kind of different. So all you gotta do, you take your mounting plate and then wire the the, the speaker and the strobe, and then snap this then snap the alarm on, or this big thing rather, and then screw in the hole. So, right now, I'm going to show you the alarm, the typical alarm, what's on the back. So, on the back, here, it's your, your audio selection or your watch setting. So, if you want to put it on temporal high, you can turn it, you can, I would actually turn it left. Okay, let me stick this in. Okay, now it's on temporal high. So if I want it to be continuous low volume, I turn it over here. Now it's back on one watt. So, here it's the candela selection. So, flipping the knob, or the lever rather, now it's 115 candela, and now it's back to 15 candela. So, and also there, you got a little shirt here. Now let's see in the back of the alarm that we're focused on. So, here's the speaker, and then wait, I forgot. So, here's P2R, and there is SPSR, and... By the way, uh, here it's the volume setting and the voltage setting, the audio selection. So, uh, if I want it to be temporal high, I just turn it over here. If I want to put on two, two is the loudest. Then if I want it to be continuous low volume, I turn it here. Today's demo would actually... Well, this thing comes out, it's actually made for it. Yep, now it's back to one watt. Today's demo would be not six watts. And then here is your voltage setting. So, that one, you, uh, if I wanted to be 70 volts, I'll show you. Now it's 70 volts. If I want it to be 20 volts, I turn it right or left rather. Here's the candela selection. So did you know that you can lift up the strobe, the strobe cover? Can you lift that up? Pretty cool, huh? Well it's made for that. Then the candela selection is right on the bottom right here. Then flipping a knob or the lever rather. Now it's 115 candela and now it's now it's 15 candela back to his normal candela. So now let me put the mounting plate on and take the P2R away and then we're gonna get along with the test. Get on 
we need to test. First, we'll test the strobe part of these devices. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's check the lights off. Lights are back on. Let's shut off the strobe. So, to activate the alarm with the pole station, we'll use the Firelight BG12 SP. Well, you know why I'm using this pole station? It's actually a BG12L. I'm using a screwdriver, I don't have the actual key for it. But it's fine, it fits, it works. I'll show you. You know what, that's not the right one. So, let me get one in this, in this packet. Okay, there we go. I found the right one. So, now let's pull it. in smart sync okay let's reset it I don't have a key for it I'll take it I'll take this screwdriver or hex key or hex wrench whatever you want to say It's, it's made like that. Now we're going to test the speaker part of the alarm. So, or now let me find my microphone because I might need it. So, I think I'll drop the camera and find it. Okay. So, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So, right now we're going to test the female firelight dino message. So, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? The signal you had just heard in the case of a report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building until directed to do so by the proper authorities. Okay, now what will a fire alarm video be without a simplex message? So, here we go. Attention, 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 an emergency has been reported. All occupants walk to the nearest stairway exit and walk down to your assigned re-entry floor from main lobby. Do not use the elevators. Walk to the nearest stairway. Do not use the elevators. Walk to the nearest stairway. on for a little bit. I think you can get the idea of that. Ooh. Let's shut that. Let's shut that off. All right. So for the finale of the video, we'll do the we'll do the strobe and the speaker. So the BG12 is back. So right now we'll do the strobes. Play the message. Let's play the far white message. It's rather meant to be the female message. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention, please? 
The signal you had just heard indicates the report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building until directed to do so by the proper authorities. Let's play the message again. Attention please. May I have your attention please? The signal you have just heard in the case of report of a fire in this building. Please proceed to the nearest exit and leave the building. Do not re-enter the building until directed to do so by the proper authorities. And you see the strobe keeps flashing for seconds. This was actually a simple setup, but there but these are not in smart sync. Well, actually, this is the typical BG12 because this was kind of like a model SP or BG12L or BG12S or BG12SP. Yeah, takes actually a key. Like, there, there's the paint faded, something like that. And that was all for the testing, so thank you for watching. That was a video of the System Sensor SPSR or Spectre Advance, whatever you want to say. Speaker show. Well, I've got these as a pair, so thank you for watching, and I hope you all enjoy this video.